Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday, March the 6th, 2017, and this is a follow-up on my earlier video, which I uploaded just over 12 hours ago, looking at the video by Nibiru Planet X 2016 called The Moon, March 4th, 2017, 10pm, Very Strange. Now let's take a look at this video for a bit of a recap of what we were looking at in the earlier video, Debris Field planetary objects, you be the judge. Let's step through the video and see these remarkably high quality images that Scott from Nibiru Planet X 2016 presented to us in his video. These images of the moon, look at those craters, look at the definition, look at those features, you can clearly see the, the craters and the planes and the all of the detail of the moon, not course I'm being very sarcastic and in my earlier video I did promise that I would film the moon tonight with my Nikon P900 camera and we would compare the images that I get with what we're seeing in this video. So we're going to take a look at some of my images from tonight and compare how they look. Now it was quite good tonight because as it turns out there was actually a bit of haze in the sky. It wasn't perfectly clear seeing as I expected that it might be but this light cloud actually added to the effect similar to what we're seeing in Nibiru Planet X 2016's video. So I thought that that would be a great place to start the video off by simulating sort of what we see in his video and then bringing the moon into the centre and focusing the camera. So let's take a look at that and see the difference a little focus makes to the camera. So we're bringing the moon into the center of the image where the camera is going to focus in on it. Then I'm going to zoom in which will allow the camera to focus. Now remember that the camera is set on autofocus at the moment. And now you can see that we've got a clear image of the moon. We've still got some haze there because of the conditions but we can see the craters clearly. We've got the definition, we can see the dark areas, also known as maria in the Latin, which means seas, and you can see those ridges and craters. But when the moon is out in the corner there, as we see here, then the camera is not able to focus properly, and we see something similar to what we see in Nibiru Planet X 2016's video. Again, it's not until I get the moon into the centre of the image and zoom up that the camera is able to focus in on those craters and details. Now I also took some still images and some other videos, so we'll take a look at those as well. So here's the first still image that I took. This is on the P900. And we'll just step through these images. As you can see, there's a lot of clear detail of the craters. And uh, this one here, we've got a bit of the digital zoom there, which is why it looks a little bit fuzzy. But as you can see, there's just no comparison with the images that were presented to us by Nibiru Planet X 2016. He should be ashamed of those images. As I said, it's all about views to Scott. And uh, he really doesn't care about the quality of the images as long as he can get some views from his video. Let's finish off with a bit more video from the P900 and we'll take another look at those craters. Now these are the sort of images that Scott from Nibiru Planet X 2016 should be presenting to us if he was doing his job properly. Quite frankly, the images that he presents in his video are an insult. Even on a night like this where the seeing conditions were not ideal, I can get much better images than he presented in his video. So before we go, let's just take another quick look at the images presented to us by Nibiru Planet X 2016 of, would you believe that that's the moon? Like I said, these images are insulting, and Scott from Nibiru Planet X 2016 should be ashamed 
or even uploading these images, but he really doesn't care. Thank you for visiting my channel, please be sure to subscribe. For further discussion, please check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. If you'd like to support my work, you'll find a PayPal link on the About tab of my channel. Your support will be most appreciated. Thank you for watching.